I mean, Ruta was a massive highlight, an amazing moment in your career, especially with her winning Olympic gold, like you say, and she was only 15 years old. And if I remember correctly, in those Olympics, it was her first major competition as well. How did you prepare her for that moment? Well, we didn't. We prepared her for trying to scrape into the final. Um, and, you know, she went into the Olympic Games ranked 10th in the world in the, in the 100 breast. She'd only just qualified because we had this ridiculous situation in 2011 where she did the Olympic qualification time at the European Youth Olympics. Um, but the European Youth Olympics apparently don't qualify you for the Olympics. They're not registered. So even though they're, even though they're organized by the same body, right, okay. they're not recognized as a qualification event. I should have read the paperwork a little bit closer, but you, know, <laughs> you would have thought that it would have, it would have qualified her, but it didn't. We had to go and scratch around at a meet in France in January of 2012, um, untapered just to try and get the FINA A time. And um, she swam in the heats in, in a time that would suggest that she wasn't going to do it. And then in the final, found a bit of root of magic, as she often did, and, and did the, the qualification time. So went into Olympics in London, ranked 10th, and I would have been absolutely over the moon with 8th. You know, just to get through the rounds and, and to get into the final would have been a, a massively significant achievement. Um but the moment she saw the heats and she almost broke the Olympic record and there was a big hush around the stadium because it was like, who's this 15-year-old kid from Lithuania that's just made everybody look average? Mm. Um, I was, yeah, I, I, had, I had an element of shock just as much as everybody else did. And race plans and strategies um, went out the window. Um, and, you know, there was always the chance that that was going to fall apart between the heats and the semi-final, that, you know, there was going to be something wonderful and then, she was going to feel a bit of pressure and then she went faster again in the semi. And what made it even harder in the semi was I couldn't find anything wrong with the race. You know, in the heats, there was a couple of technical things to address. In the semi final, you know, it was like, hmm, uh, that's almost perfect. Uh, you know, what do you coach? Yeah. Um, so, and, and so when she went into the final rank first and she had Rebecca Sony next to her and there was Effie Mover in there and and Bridge Larson and all these girls that had, you know, been tearing the house down for a few years, it still seemed like, you know, this could be fourth or fifth, and then you'd be disappointed. But you would come in here hoping that you'd, you'd get top eight. Um, and I remember thinking to myself after the semi, if there isn't a medal here, it's an opportunity lost. Um, and then I don't know if you recall, but the starting mechanism failed, and everybody sat around for like 10 minutes waiting for them to repair the starting mechanism. Bridge Larson dived in, got out, freezing wet, cold, panicky, um, and so it was a. It was a to say it was a roller coaster of emotions was you know it's like the understatement of the century. So there you have it. Fifteen year old kid goes and wins an Olympic medal, and it's the first time that Lithuania get to listen to their own national anthem at an Olympic Games because mm -hmm. before that it was always the Russian national anthem under the USSR banner. Um, so it was, yeah, it was, it was huge. And it was, it was, do you know what I'll say to you? Because I often shoot myself in the foot with this, but like the day before we went to the Olympic games, I was still as good a coach as I was the day that she won the gold. Mm. But, and I don't know how good that was, but I was that coach, you know, I was the same coach. Mm. And on that day, I was just like, I was just John that did X, Y, and Z in Plymouth and in England and whatever else, right? And then on the day that she won the gold medal, I was, in many people's eyes, I was escalated into this, you know, like one of the world's leading coaches. Hmm. And, and I was still the same guy that I was 72 hours before. And I often think there are some amazing coaches out there that are at least as talented as I am, if not, if not more so but they don't necessarily have the good fortune of an athlete to come along and validate their abilities. And that's what Ruta did was I always thought that I could coach and I always thought I had something and I was certainly better at coaching than I was at school teaching. And I was certainly better at school teaching than I was at swimming. <laughs> um, but you need, you need someone to come along and rubber stamp it and go, yeah, you are actually all right. And I'll dive in and prove it. And I think that, you know, that's something that, that needs a bit of good fortune, but it also needs an athlete that really buys into what you what you say and what you ask. Because yeah. she was absolutely, genuinely the first athlete that came along and said, whatever you say, whatever you tell me is right, 
I'll buy into 100% of it. The 24-7, 305 day thing. Not, not just going to the pool and do a good job or going to the gym and do a good job. But, you know, there's 19 hours outside of your sphere of influence when you're a coach. If you do two hours pool coaching in the morning and an afternoon and an hour in the gym, there's 19 hours left in a day. Well, that sits with the athlete. Mm. And so that was the piece of the education, I think, that not only we got right, but she... She absolutely grabbed it with both hands. And I, and I honestly believe it was those 19 hours a day that often athletes don't do because they're not being observed and they're not being measured by it. They don't necessarily think that it's going to make a difference. It was those hours that made a significant difference to who she was and what she achieved.